Hey guys, how are you going and welcome to your 22nd Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on applying transitions to your elements. Okay, so obviously uh, transitions can make your application look and feel nice. So of course, it's always a nice final touch um, to include those. Now, they're very easy to add with Svelte. So uh, for example, in today's video, we're going to be toggling on and off uh, the visibility of an element. And of course, we're going to then um, apply transitions to that element to see how it all works. Okay, so um, inside the text editor right here, we can first start by creating uh, a div right here. And this div is going to be the elements in which we're going to apply uh, transitions to. So we can say something like, hey, my name is Dom, uh, just like that. So now we can declare a new variable up here called show equal to false by default. And now we can just say right down here, essentially, if you want to show, then of course we're going to show. So we can just quite simply close off that if statement right there. We can also remove the style tag because of course we're not using it. Okay, and now we can simply have a checkbox um, to toggle uh, the show variable. So now we can make a new input here with a type of checkbox and then we can quite simply just say right inside here, uh, bind for the checked and we can just say right here, show. So now as we as we toggle the checkbox, it is going to uh, toggle uh, whether or not this div gets shown. And we can just include here a new horizontal rule. And for a final touch, we can wrap all of this right here inside a label. And we can just say something like toggle. Okay, cool. So now uh, saving this right here and going inside the browser, we can see we get something like this. So now if I was to toggle, it's going to show. I can now untoggle and it is going to go away. So let's add a transition to the actual visibility of this element right here. So in Svelte, there are many uh, built-in transitions to choose from, but you can also make your own. I'm not going to be going over uh, using custom transitions in today's video, but I'm going to be taking you through uh, some of the more basic and built-in ones. Um, so let's go up here. Uh, we're going to import the fade transition. Okay, so um, we can say up here, we can say import from Svelte forward slash transition. We can import fade. Okay, so fade is one of the built-in transitions and to apply the fade transition to this div right here, it's really easy. We can just say transition, then colon, then fade. So now saving this right here, let's go back inside the browser and we can see we now have a nice fade in and out on that element right there. Okay, so that's, that's how that works. So like I said, it's very easy to achieve this. You simply put colon and then the name of your imported uh, transition right here. Let's have a look at one more. That is going to be the, um, the scale uh, transition. So the scale transition is as the, names, um, as the name suggests, it is going to scale uh, the size of your element. So in this case right here, we can just say, uh, essentially just replace this with a scale. Save this and go inside the browser. And now of course, we get something like this. It comes in like that. Now, the reason why it's coming in from the side there is because this is actually a div. So if I also go back inside here and I add some styles to say div, then I say background. Let's make the background blue. Let's give it some padding of 10 PX and a color of white. So now saving this right here and then going back, we can see, of course, that is what's happening. It is simply uh, scaling um, the element right there. So. That is the basics of using transitions. Now we can take this a step further and we can actually toggle between either using um, essentially in this case right here, we can use fade on the way in and then on the way out, we can use scale. So let's go in, uh, inside here and we can replace this right here. So we can say in for the scale. So in colon right there. Then we can say, we can say out. Then we can specify our fade. So here we're saying when it comes in, we want to use scale. When it fades out or when it, when it goes out, we want to use fade. So now going back inside the browser, toggling on, it'll come in with a scale and doing it again, it's going to fade out instead. So you can actually, of course, combine different transitions, sorry, different transitions for your uh, in and your out. 
Okay, now uh, one last thing to cover in today's video is going to be uh, providing parameters to your transitions. So um, every single transition in Svelte is going to have its own unique um, transitions. So uh, for example, when it comes to the scale and the fade, you can specify a duration. So right here we can just say equals and then we can specify an object inside here. So for example, to change the, uh, to change the duration of the scale transition, we can just say right here duration, then we can say something like 5000. So now it's going to take 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds to uh, to scale in. So now saving this and go back inside the browser, we can see now of course it takes that 5 seconds to come in. Now uh, like I mentioned earlier, there are many different uh, parameters you can apply. So if you head over to the Svelte docs, we can see here that you have all of these different uh, built-in transitions. Okay, now like I said, all of these have their own parameters. So you can go inside here, you can pick and choose a transition and you can choose between your delay, your duration for fade. Um, blur has got easing, opacity, amount, etc. So you can uh, you can browse these docs and of course pick your transition and pick your parameters. So I'll be leaving a link to this right here in the description below if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.